What's up guys, how you're doing? Welcome to another video. So something slightly different for you today. I don't have the lights set up, we don't have the fancy background and the lighting and everything because this is going to be a vlog. It is Friday afternoon and I'm heading into um, what I would call a double header weekend and by that I mean I'm doing two games in two days. So today, Friday, I'm shooting football, I've got Fulham under 23s at home and then tomorrow afternoon I'm shooting basketball, we've got a Surrey Scorchers uh, pre-season game. So we've got football tonight, basketball tomorrow. I thought it'd be good fun just to bring you guys along, show you what goes on over the course of these two days. We're gonna do the two days in one, so you'll see the football today and the basketball tomorrow. Gotta to be over at the football in a couple of hours. The forecast is not, like, it's not great. It's not looking to, to pour down with rain, I don't believe. As always, I'm gonna have my rain covers with me and I've got my rain jacket on just to be safe, but fingers crossed it won't rain. Tomorrow, the weather's actually looking really good, but I'm indoors. I guess that doesn't really matter so much. If you guys are excited by this one, you like the idea of the vlog style video, do me a favor, hit that like button because it helps me out loads and loads on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below, I'm conscious there might be questions that come out of this today, so feel free to comment below if you do have any kind of questions or let me know what you think of the vlog style. Obviously, we're still gonna do the more sort of professional setup videos, but we're gonna do some of these vlogs as well. I think the next thing you guys are gonna see will be me pitch side over at Fulham getting set up. We're gonna head over there shortly. Pretty much got my bags and everything together already. Of course, I'm gonna have my 400 mm my 70 to 200 will be my main two shooting lenses uh, with my 1DX and my R6. Got everything ready to go already. So right, we're gonna get ready to head over to Fulham and I will see you guys there. Let's go. Okay guys, here we are, pitch side. So, all set up, got my gear together. Um, you saw me just taking a couple of warm-up shots there. To be honest, they didn't really need much for the warm-ups today, so I've just spent the time getting my gear ready. So I've set up my gear, just doing my laptop right here. Um, got my other bits next to me down here as well. Picked a place uh, right out by the corner flag. So I'm literally almost looking down the sideline. Um, I'll show you what I mean right here. You can see like straight ahead of me. So that is literally looking straight on for me right now. I thought I'd sit right out here by the corner just to get that real wide perspective because especially with the under 23s I find when there are celebrations they always run towards the corners uh, if not they run towards their bench which unfortunately is the opposite for me so the bench is um, over that far side of the pitch over there so we'll have to see how it goes um, teams will be out in about five minutes we'll start taking some shots hopefully we'll get some good stuff a game like this I do send live um, I'm not using like uh, an FTP server I send it via um, Dropbox the images that I'm sending because I send them direct to the team I'll send them a handful of action shots in the first half um, any specifics as well like a goal celebration for example and then we will go from there so I'm going to leave you guys to kind of watch me um, I'll keep on talking to you when I can through the course of the game and we'll go from there all right let's get on with doing this So game just kicked off. I'm, um, I'm set up with my 400 on my Canon R6 right here. Then just at my feet, uh, I've got my 1DX on my 70 to 200. So I sit this by my feet. It's actually on a towel because the ground is a bit wet. Um, I prefer that than it being on a strap. I just like to have it fully loose in the movement. I'll show you in a minute where it's sat by my feet. 
Got a bit of action coming this way, so let me just deal with that scenario. After a few minutes of action, like as soon as I've got like four maybe action shots, um, I will send those four because then they're like generic action shots that they can use in like a tweet or an Instagram post, something like that. All right, here they come again. Oh no, it's a foul. Here we go, we've got a stoppage. So I'll do that and I'll be sending that on my laptop. Um, I will do that. What I'll probably do is I'll film um, later on another video, which is fully the sending process on my laptop. Going on free kick, I think. So we've got these dead moments right now. Here we go. Okay, so I feel like I've got three or four action shots now. So I'm going to send those over. But what I will be doing the whole time is making sure I'm ready in case the attack, like it is right now, in case the attack comes this way. Because what I don't want to do is miss a goal when I'm sending generic action shots. Okay, play's gone down that end again. And it's probably one of the hardest things you do, especially with under-23s, because you don't have the crowd in the same way. So with like, um, you know, professional games, you can hear the crowd and they react if something's happening. Whereas with this, when there's no crowd, I mean, there are like 50 people over there, but not like a crowd crowd. You don't get that noise, so you have to try and react yourself, which is much, much harder. Right, images done. I sent, uh, I sent five images there total. I don't think exposures are, can you guys see me? Yeah, I think you can. Sorry, action's coming again. Four. I've not done one of these vlogs whilst I'm shooting a game for a while. It's hard to do. Quite a good chance for you to see how I'm using two cameras. Actually, I've done a whole video on this, so check it out if you want. In fact, I'll, I'll link it right there if you want to go check it out. But I've got this one on the monopod and when I need to, I drop this one back onto my shoulder and then my 70 to 200 comes up here. So like right now, the action went across the pitch and as it came more towards me, I dropped this back and picked this one up so that I can then shoot the action over there. Right, let's get on and shoot some more of this game. So now that I've got those um, initial action shots across, really my job between now and half time is to tell the story of the game, right? So take photos that, um, you know, key moments, actions, of course, goals and celebrations, um, but any other key bits that I can get as well. There's a corner right down the other end, which is where my 400 comes in handy. Let's see if we can get this. That came to nothing, so we're all good. So yeah, uh, that will be the job up till half time. Uh, I'll probably send images, like if nothing happens, I'll send images probably once more between now and half time, which will be another handful, four or five. Uh, whereas if there's action, I'll try and send the images straight away. So like if there's a goal, I'll send a photo of the goal of the celebration uh, as soon as I can after that happens. Plays right down the other end again now, which is normally when I use my laptop and do those bits. Just to give you an idea of my setup, so like I said, I've got my main camera here. So down here, you can see right next to my foot, uh, I've got my 70 to 200 set up. Oh, I thought I'd leave that in because there's a rocket chance. <laughs> I literally had to drop you guys to get the shot. So yeah, got my 70 to 200 set up right here by my foot. It's on a towel because the ground um, is a little damp. It's not too bad, it's a little damp. So set up on the towel, it just means that my gear is going to stay dry. Plus my towel's right there in case we get any more drizzle because we have had drizzle a couple of times on and off. In terms of settings, right? So settings, I have set myself to one thousandth of a second shutter speed. My lenses are wide open, so it's f2.8 for both my two lenses. And then I've actually gone auto ISO. The reason I've done that, as you can see right now, it's still a little bit light, but it's gonna get increasingly dark through the game. So rather than me having to keep on changing my settings, I've gone to auto ISO. Right now that's panning out to about ISO 4000. By the end of the game, I imagine it will be nearer 10,000. The floodlights here are not fantastic, so that's gonna be the problem. Right, gonna crack on with this game and let's see how we get on. Okay, so quite a gap since I saw you guys last time, but that I mean like half an hour, basically because it absolutely chucked it down with rain, which threw me off because I wasn't expecting it with the forecast. As always, I have my rain gear with me, um, but when it suddenly chucks it down, you're not ready. You've got to get your laptop covered and your gear covered and everything. It's a nightmare. Anyway, second half, I've got the rain cover 
over my um, R6 with my 400mm. If you guys want to find out about this rain cover, it's a real cheap one from eBay. I think it's by my company called Matin, but it's in, I'll link it in the description, easy as that. I've got my 1DX, also in a rain cover. This is just one of the cheap um, Optech disposable ones. Uh, again, I'll link that in the description below so you can see them if you want to. Stop raining right now, but it's threatening to carry on. In fact, it's still kind of drizzling a bit right now. So, so yeah, got my rainproofs on. I turn my hat backwards for a minute so you can see my face because it's going to be in the shadow. Let's carry on shooting this game. See how we get on. Okay, it's interesting. I forgot just actually how bad the floodlights are here. So I'm currently shooting. Um, well, I was up to ISO 20,000 at f2.8. So I actually dropped that shutter to 1 800th of a second just to get me down to like... 12 800th ISO, 10,000 ISO, just to try and keep the quality of the pics a little bit better. I mean, actually, the R6 can deal with 20,000. The 1DX can too. But I, I, I want to just try to get that balance. And 1 800th works when you have to. So that's what I'm doing right now. Going to carry on shooting. I'll be putting some of the images from the game into this right here so you can see how we do. You'll probably see what I mean about a little bit of the noise um, in some of those. Right, going to crack on with the game. I probably will see you guys at full time. Let's go. Okay, and that is full time. So I managed to get myself a little spot in a stand at the end here that was empty because it's still raining, so I'm undercover. I'm gonna sit us in a few more images, just the key ones from the rest of the game. Not a huge amount, like my total set from this game is actually only like 25 images, which isn't huge, but the weather was against me and um, some of the play wasn't the, the best. So I'm gonna sit right here, send a few more images, then I'll catch up with you guys before we head home. Okay, all done. Gonna get my gear packed up, head back to the car. And then we're done for the night. Oh, there we go, and we are back in the car. It's so dark in here, I'm having to use my uh, <laughs> my torch on my phone as a little bit of a key light for this. So, uh, all done. Some of my gear's a bit wet because it rained. Uh, you guys know I hate shooting in the rain. Uh, so when I get back, I've got to take it out and dry it off and leave it out to dry, which is a pain because especially when you're shooting back to back two days, it's like another task you've got to do in between when you just want to chill out. Um, so I'll show you that when we get back just quick anyway, then get some rest. I've not seen Mrs. Sambal since like 7.30 this morning, so um, she's been at work all day. And of course I've been doing this, I'm going to see her for a bit, chill out some food. The time now is 9.20, so not too bad, I'll be home by like 9.45, get my stuff set up, get some rest, and then we'll go again tomorrow. And like I said at the beginning of the video, it's a double header, you guys are going to see that. So I'll see you at home briefly, and then we'll crack on tomorrow. Let's go. And just like that, we're home. So I've got all the gear out. Like I said, it's drying down here. So I've got just all laid out. That radiator's not on, by the way. That's just there. Just because it's next to the radiator. The radiator's not turned on. I wouldn't, like, heat up my gear to dry it. It's just there drying. Got the towel and stuff hanging out on the air right here. Going to get the laptop and stuff set up. I'm going to do that tomorrow morning, ready for the basketball tomorrow. And that's about it for today. Guys, I will see you tomorrow. Morning, 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 guys. So, it's the next morning. Um, all my stuff is dry. Got my lens hood and my towel here behind me. Everything's dry, so uh, that's all done. I'm actually going to need that today because we are shooting indoor sports. We're shooting indoor sports, so don't have to worry about the weather. Uh, the other thing I won't need today is my long lens. I'm not going to need my 400 mil uh, because I rarely use that for basketball. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I'll take it with me. Um, like if I've got a job where I need to specifically get like close in portraits of the coach or something like that. Uh, but that's not the idea today, so I won't need my 400mm. So that means I can just take my backpack um, because my longest lens will be my 70-200. So my jobs for today, charge my, uh, charge my gear, 
got to charge my batteries gonna clean off my lenses sometimes i'll try and clean my lenses before every event every now and again i might not but especially if i've done one in the rain where there might be like muck or something on the front of the lens um then i always will so i'm gonna clean off my lenses get those done and then pack my backpack ready to go it's currently like 11 o'clock uh, the game is at three o'clock i've got to be there at two o'clock so we've got about three hours which is more than enough because i don't have much else to do this morning right let's get this stuff ready in terms of cleaning the lenses for me it's very simple um, i use a combination of a blower a brush and then a clean um cloth um one of those kind of special lens cleaning cloths not just like a random cloth that i'll clean the counter with i've already used the blower um i didn't record that piece um just to get any kind of loose bits um that combined with the brush to get anything off the front and then i'm just going to use the cloth on the front because i can see there are a couple of little specks, which I think are probably dried raindrops. Just gotta make sure that's all entirely clean. That looks good. I'll normally then use the blower again. Where did I put it? Here. I normally use the blower again, just to make sure any kind of little bits of dust that have come off the cloth. When I use the blower, I hold the lens down like this and do it upwards into the front of the lens. So anything which I blow off drops out. That looks pretty good, good to go. A lens which I didn't use last night, which will be a key one for my basketball, is my 2470. And I've actually not used this for a little while, so I'm just gonna make sure that this one is good as well. That one actually looks near enough perfect, so I do not need to worry. Right, let's get this backpack packed. Okay, you guys are up there. So, my backpack. Um, fairly simple, right? I'm going to need my R6. Uh, the battery is just finishing charging. My R6. Uh, I've put the 1740 on there just now so that when I first get into the arena, I can take some of those wide angle shots. I've got my 7D Mark II in there. That's mostly there as my backup. Um, but I've got the 7D Mark II. I might use that for a remote camera potentially as well. I've then got my 1DX. So my 1DX is going to be my other main body, which I will use alongside the R6. My 2470, I mentioned that, 2470, which I will need for a lot of the action. The lens, which you guys just saw me clean off, the 70 to 200, I'm going to need that for a lot of the action as well. Got a few other bits in there. Um, I've got a remote shutter release, which I'm actually not going to need at all today. I've got my spare memory cards, everything like that. My laptop is going into the back pouch of the backpack, and then the backpack's good to go. Cool, right, so I think I'll see you guys when we head off for the game. Okay, and we are here. Absolutely typical for me. Yesterday when I'm shooting sports outside, it was raining and horrible. Now I'm gonna shoot sports inside. It is blazing hot weather, but hey, what can you do? Right, let's get in there and start setting up. Okay, so the actually the remit of what I'm doing has just changed quite a lot because we are going to be shooting a lot more action shots than we were like um, kind of stock images like I thought we were going to do before. So with that in mind, I'm actually going to be using my 2470 a lot for uh, the action today. I'm going to sit in under the basket and get as many action shots as I can. Those kind of slightly wider under the basket shots look great for action. So I'm going to do that to start with, at least for the first half and then I'll see how we go and sit out by the corner probably later on. Okay, game's literally just tipped off, so let's get these first quarter shots and go from there. Some pretty good stuff so far, some nice action shots. Um, quite a novelty for me because I don't have to send anything during the game for this one. Um, I'm just taking the photos, create a set, and then send them over later on tonight. So a little bit more peaceful than, uh, than some games. Okay, just at half time. It's kind of loud, so I hope you guys can hear me. Just at half time, down the other end now. So I've taken a different position out by 
by the corner. I'm out by the three point line now. I just try and get a different perspective. I'll probably be using my 70 to 200 a lot more now at this angle. See what we can get. Like I said, luxurious half time because I didn't have to send any photos. I'll do it all later on tonight, so that was nice. Anyway, second half, let's get these shots, let's go. And just like that, we are back home, sat on my couch, relaxing, all done, double header, two games in two days, one football, one basketball. Uh, actually, look, in all honesty, not that much of a tough weekend. Um, sometimes when I do like big tournaments and stuff, it's like, you know, two, eight, nine hour days in a row. Those are the tough ones. Doing a football game and a basketball game is not bad at all. It's all, it's all good. Uh, so, so decent couple of days. Uh, good Friday night, good Saturday afternoon doing the basketball. All done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bit more of a kind of vlog style video this time. Hopefully you enjoyed following along. Maybe you got a few tips on the way. If you did and you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button for me because it helps me out loads and loads on my channel really really appreciate it of course i've shared a few of the photos through the videos i'll put a few more of the photos from the two days at the end as well hope you guys enjoyed this going to keep on uh, doing these vlogs every now and again make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you can follow along for the next one guys with that i'm going to get a nice cold beer i'm going to chill out get to bed in a couple of hours thank you very much for watching i will see you on the next video